Hi guys, I'm Melissa and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So the big day is almost here. I'm moving to Arizona and we're leaving in about three days. We have a 24 hour drive ahead of us and I'm actually really looking forward to it because um, we get to see some places that we've never been before. I've never been to Utah, I've never been to Idaho. I've been to Oregon very briefly, twice, and I didn't really see too much of it. And so I'm excited to just see some new places and do a little bit of exploring as well along the way. And so for the past week, we have been either selling or donating more than 50% I'd say of the things that we had which wasn't a lot to begin with um, but it's been really nice to kind of let go of things that we weren't using and we're going to be starting fresh in Arizona we're going to be leaving quite a few things for our family friend who is moving into uh, this place that we've been living for the past year and so it's nice that we get to pass those things on to him and that you know he'll be making good use out of them and Alex and I are just taking one suitcase each of personal items. That includes clothing, that includes cosmetics, toiletries, jewelry, books, everything. And so that's been an in interesting process. And since we have a long drive ahead of us, I'm starting to put together a playlist of music to listen to along the way. And I am looking into some new audiobooks and PDF books that I can read on my phone and on my laptop. And I thought I would share with you the apps that I use on my phone. I remember that I've had quite a few people ask me about this a while ago and I don't think I've ever shared this on my channel so I thought I would do that today. I have an Android phone, a Samsung Galaxy, but I believe most of these apps that I'm mentioning are also available on iPhone. And so I use Audible for my audiobooks. My favorite that I've ever downloaded since I got Audible is called The Secret Advantage by Earl Nightingale. And it's 19 hours long. And yes, I've listened to all of it actually twice. Not all in one go, of course, but I just keep putting it on wherever I left off when I go for a walk. And I just find it so motivating, so inspiring, and I just love Earl Nightingale. So I definitely recommend checking that one out. Another app that I love, and this one I've downloaded more recently, it's called Scribd. It's S-C-R-I-B-D. And I downloaded a free month trial of Scribd, and then I really loved it, so I just am going to continue to pay for it. It is like Audible because it also has audiobooks, but I mainly use it for the PDF books. and. I really love old, old books and I was able to find so many old books that I had never even heard of before that people have uh, scanned all of the pages of and you can download the PDF file of them on the Scribd app and I really, really love that. And I like that it remembers the page you're on and where you were reading so that if you are on Scribd on your computer and then you read a little bit and then go on to the app on your phone it knows where you left off and it takes you to that point of the book which is great and because I love really old books and just discovering books that were written like a hundred years ago mostly non-fiction um, inspiring motivational books I found so many cool ones on there that I had never read before and one is uh, by Vernon Howard. This is the one I'm reading right now. It's called Psychopictography. I'll put everything that I'm mentioning in this video in the description box if you guys want to check them out. Um, another book I read um, from Scribd was There's Nothing Wrong With You by Sherry Huber. And I also really love that one. Another app that I love is Canva. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that every single day of the year I share a positive or inspiring quote on my Instagram stories and I create that image of the quote on Canva. I've used the Canva desktop website for about a year now and I really, really love it. And now I recently downloaded the app and it just makes it a lot easier to just share on Instagram because it's already on my phone. What else do I have on here? For my Instagram photos, I edit on VSCO. I really love that app. And my favorite filter is A4. It creates what I call a warm and cozy look to the photo. It's uh, 
almost adds a bit of a brownish, reddish, orangish hue to the photos and I really like that. There's something nostalgic about how it makes the images look, if that makes sense. It kind of creates a vintage -y, warm feeling to the photos. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section down below. What is your favorite app that you use every single day? Do you have something that is motivating or inspiring or helps you stay organized and focused and disciplined? All right, I'll see you next time guys. If you're not yet subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and have a beautiful day. Bye.